I should write everything down so I don't forget something important. So these are the Bell and Bones chumps, and I have to defeat them all. Wonderful. Oh, what? I want to challenge you to a Bell and Bones match. Oh, fine, but don't disappoint me. I didn't expect to lose. Underestimating you made me weak. You taught me a good lesson. Hey, do I know you? You look familiar. Familiar how? You have the exact same nose as my neighbor Quentin. It was very strange. He used to talk about some moving pictures all the time. He was a little crazy, you see. Probably a drunk, but at least not the raging kind. More of a choir. Wow. I look like a lunatic who's also a drunk. Isn't that great? Well, at least he was a handsome lunatic. Actually, that does make it better, yes. All right. So, what do you want from me? What can you recommend on the menu? Nothing. Really? There are at least a dozen empty plates in front of you. Good to know you're not blind. Still, the food here is horrible. I haven't had a decent ramen in more than a century. That sounds... horrible, really. Ah, <sighs> it is. Why did Beatrice send you here? For a good reason. And, uh... What is that supposed to mean? That you shouldn't stick your nose in other people's business. I'm looking for the spell that summons Beatrice. I heard you had a piece of it. You heard right, but I'm not a charity. Perhaps there's something I can do for you. Sure, a foot massage would be nice. I haven't taken these shoes off in a while. You? I... Suit yourself. If I cook you the perfect ramen... Will you give me your piece of the spell? If you do that, I'll even give you a kiss. Uh... Relax. I'm just kidding. But you should have seen your face. If your Raman is at least half as good as the one I had back then, the spell is yours. I don't even know why I kept it all these years. Probably to piss off Ernest. What about Ernest? He once sent his men after me. Hoping I'd just give him my piece of the spell. So, why didn't you? 
because Ernest can go screw himself. I hate that guy. Thinks he's the boss of this dump. <laughs> yeah, right. But how did you get rid of his men? I bit off one of the guy's finger and threatened that next time I'd be aiming for other body parts, if you get what I'm saying. I think I do. Good. Now, hurry up and treat a lady to some real good ramen. Goodbye. Whatever. Welcome to Uzu Ramen. What can I get you? I'd like some ramen, please. Sure. What do you have for me? What do you mean? Is this your first day or something? Listen, there's no money here in whatever land. So we trade stuff to get other stuff. If I like your offer, then we have a deal. Nick should have told you. Yeah, he should have. Oh, please don't give me that look. The opportunity just didn't present itself, you know? Well, now you know. Better later than never. What's Omarasan's problem with your uh, ramen? That woman is insufferable. She wants special ramen made with gold and tuna. I'm not sure it even exists here in whatever land. But even if it did, I'd never make it for her. Why not? Because who puts tuna in ramen, even if it's golden? Actually, I'd try that. Of course you would. Feel free to use my kitchen if you decide to make that weird tuna ramen for her. The recipe should be near the stove. Oh, and don't put any kind of alcohol in it, or she'll pass out. Got it. Thanks for the help. I'm just curious to see what's going to happen. Do you own this place? I do, and I'm proud of it. When I first got here, I thought my life was over, but running this shop gave me a new purpose. Isn't this place supposed to be some kind of a weird purgatory where everyone suffers forever? It is to some, but there are many of us who found our place here. If you ask me, I don't believe Beatrice is that evil. So, uh, what do you believe? I think she has a plan. Not sure what it is exactly, but there's got to be some kind of purpose to all this. Or maybe I'm too into conspiracy theories. What do you think? Why not? Maybe it's her own version of the Stanford experiment. I have no idea what you just said, but I hope you're right. That would be awesome. Well... Goodbye. <laughs> be careful out there. What kind of person does it take to turn into an actual pig? A smart one, I think. And why is that? Well, pigs are smarter than dogs. That must mean something. Hardly. What's he looking at? Beatrice must have sent her here because she was crossing the road too slowly. You look like you need some carbs. I'll think about it. Why does he look so out of place here? You look like you need... I'll... Oh, Nick! Care to explain yourself? What? Did you say something? I'm talking about us, Nick. Sorry, can't hear you. I'm sure you'll find something here. I'll find use for you. I don't like your friend, you know. Did I ask? That's fine, Vincent. Forget it. Here you are. How can I help you? Do you happen to have a golden tuna for sale? Huh? Did I hear that right? You're talking about the golden tuna? Do you have it or not? Actually, I do have this beautiful, exclusive, incredible fish. But... Doesn't there always have to be a but? Ah, life is just a series of infinite buts. Remember that, amigo. Fine. What do you want, then? 
I got a fresh batch here, but I still can't get my hands on it. Sort the fish while I handle the customers, and the golden tuna is yours. Deal. That shouldn't be too hard. Just don't get too cocky. All right, camarada. What you have to do is sort the new batch of fish. Be simple. Good fish to the left, bad fish to the right. Come on, no time to waste. Bad camarada, but the next batch is a little different. If you see a fish with red fins, put it to the left, even if it looks rotten. Sounds strange, I know, but that's kind of a weird delicacy we have here. Tastes like a first kiss. Nasty, but unforgettable. Doing good, camarada. Now stay vigilant, because in the next batch, there might be whatever landers who turned into fish. <laughs> you won't want to eat them, no? <laughs> so watch out for fish with human eyes and put them to the right. Already? Ah, no worries, this is the last batch, but a very tricky one. You see, local cats found out we were throwing fishy whatever landers away. So they started drawing eyes on the fresh fish to confuse us and snatch it for themselves. Don't let those fake eyes confuse you! Beautiful! All the fish is in the right place, thanks to you, camarada. Here's your golden tuna, just as I promised. Here, try this. Wait! You actually made me a ramen? You must be desperate. Let's see. It's 
Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. The tuna is melting in my mouth like fresh butter. Reminds me of the good old days. You managed to impress me. I'll give you that. Here, the spell is yours. Thank you. By the way, your taste is really weird. Ha! Ah, you think I don't know that? Now, get out of my face before I force you to make me another bowl! So, you're a thief and a master chef all at once. Who would have thought? I'm a man of many talents. By the way, you look great in an apron. Just saying. Oh, I'm flattered. All that ramen made me hungry as a wolf. How about we order something to celebrate? Let's celebrate after we get out of here, alright? Remind me why do I keep hanging out with you? Because I look great in an apron, obviously. Exactly. Now off we go. Her bones so fine and brittle, it barely took an hour, as tender flesh grew sweeter and blood was getting sour. Her eyes, so blue and clever, got dark and filled with fear. Tear her apart could never, too salty from the tears. <laughs>